What's up, y'all? This is RVS. This is ROD, a.k.a. Rated R. And we are the We Coming For You cast. And we talk about pro wrestling from a black dude's perspective. Tell them what they can expect on this here podcast. Oh, we gonna give you all the raw and dirty and the everything black from AEW, WWE, Impact Wrestling, and any other wrestling in between. If you want your wrestling unfiltered, uncensored, and you want it raw, you need to subscribe to the We Come For You cast. Right here on SOLC Network. Another episode so- of Wu-Tang Clan <laughs> American Saga. Episodes one through four. Oh, yeah, we didn't, we yeah. missed one. Brother, life is lifing, so we you didn't get it. <laughs> But we are here for one through four. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Man, all right, let's let's jump Yo, right in. So, all right, so the first thing, first yeah, thing, first yeah. thing, we had some projections, right? Yeah, yeah. Without diving too far in, because we about to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? What what jumps out at you as far as like a projection that you saw immediately like like hit you in these first four episodes? I mean immediately, not like episode one, episode two, but like oh, immediately. Oh, man, there's one, but I really don't want to say it because I'm right. like... I mean, it's not even projections. Well, we, me and you have talked about. Oh, a lot. Off, off. I think I know what you're talking it's about. Dave East as Method Man. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh, we got to we got to jump in on yeah, that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think they don't trust him as an actor. Oh shit! Word. Yeah. He's man. made it to the final season, so yeah, he well, did. they can't. He did, but I, I can't say the same about it. Joey Badass. Well, Joey, Joey Joey's Badass a different got, situation. Uh, got uh, power. He got power. He was yeah. yeah he's he's, he's more what's bread, his name? unique. Unique on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he good. Shout out to Fifty on the on the on the power book. But yeah, so okay, and then he's killing that too. So it couldn't not that for right. for, for him right. it wasn't an issue. So you no. think you think still you're you're rooted in the fact that I they think, don't Yeah, because they don't like you gotta think meth is so big at that time. Yeah, man, How are they huge. not letting him that actor getting more screen time? I feel like there's a whole nother story that we're not getting with meth unless we maybe we get it later on. And it's Ooh, and it's some maybe some other uh, see, a meth episodes. story. We did get one. We got a meth story in season one when they were showing him playing lacrosse and his family upbringing coming from Long Island Facts. originally. This was char- character development, though. Right, but yeah. we got a whole thing. If this dude's going to be double platinum and we have not sat with him at all. That's because he's been on the road, though. Right, but we haven't sat with him at all. We did a whole third episode with Dirty in a, a <laughs> 1970s We definitely going to get there. Yeah. I hope for, for, for your point that you're making that there is a, a, a meth dedicated episode you know what i'm saying for all the movement yeah. that he's got going on on the road you know what i'm saying with the charts getting the first getting the first sampled piece that's not done by rizza yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah. as far as production is concerned so yeah i don't know i mean that's man. just one of them and, and, and meth also them showing how the clan was was hating on meth on the low Yo. that he was out there shining Yo, that came up a little bit. It came, yeah, it came up. up episode four. Yeah, season. I mean, episode four for and sure. And it was interesting. It makes sense that you got brought up because if you go back, remember on uh, the show. Yeah. Remember he was getting into it with you guys on and when they were in Tokyo or whatever. On the on his on the tour bus or was it, it was it like a train or something? They was train. on a train or the tour bus. Something they were over in Tokyo with. Yeah. And they got into it or whatever. And it's like, oh, they got a lot little in the background. That's kind of simmering and brewing. Yeah, it's a real human yeah. human interaction. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, all right. So, bet. So, for me, let me see. I think that was the first one I actually thought, like, seeing the rift uh, between, like, RZA being a control freak was going to really start, like, presenting itself as a yeah. problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they definitely, definitely touched. They didn't waste no time touching on that. No. So... And it was, I think it was even more than being a control freak. It was just kind of how, like, you could be a cool control freak or you could be a dick. And, like, and Riz, he's been a dick. RZA was a whole ass the but whole time. But I, I feel like we kind of all kind of felt like that. They For sure. Like that. Even though we never had any intricacies, yeah. it just felt like that. Even when we watched that, uh, the, the uh, uh, Wu Mansion episode of, uh, oh of, the, God, of, of K- Cribs, yeah. he was controlling the whole thing. Like, yo, it's. You know, this is us. You know, it's yeah. the woo, You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the mansion, if we could just jump right yeah, in, let's on the go mansion. in. Let's get in. Right. Where so was the, that? Was Wu Mansion West the one we watched? That's what I was going to say. Where, <laughs> where, where was? Because I this thought this is in I, Jersey. This is in Jersey. This was in Jersey. Because remember, uh, it was in Jersey. Because um, when okay. uh, Ray and Ghost are out in the field, he's like, man, you act like you ain't never been to Jersey. He was like, yeah. He's like, that's that 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 uh, uh, Jersey Devils. <laughs> like the joint. The, yeah. The, you yeah. know what he called? He said the, the kangaroo horse nigga to be. <laughs> <Yeah. eating." laughs> 
best part is their interaction is the best. I would yeah. do a damn near series with just Ghost yeah. and Ray. Nah, flat out. Like flat their out. interaction. They hated each other at first, and then they become. And the same thing with power and knowledge. Yes. Oh man, we gotta talk about. That. Oh my, we got so much to get into. Yeah, so let, let's jump so in. So the first season, right? So Method, we Method's on tour, yep. right? And then um, first episode before people. Yeah, get, first get episode, comments. first episode. <laughs> and I got notes. He said y'all might not even be watching us the whole time, just more listening. So I don't really even feel bad about flipping in front of y'all. Yeah, because it's yeah. accurate. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's keeping it. Keep, keep it, keep it. But keep yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So just in power. Uh, oh, first thing I noticed is they playing dice on the pool table. We discussed this. Yep, and they there's did no that on pool. There's no being pool being played. played. <laughs> I don't even know if pool balls even exist for the pool table. You know what else we tripped off of? There was no CeeLo. Like they had two dice the whole time. That's not true. These are CeeLo cats. Yeah, baby. exactly. They're C- New York uh, cats are you know CeeLo what I mean? cats. C- period, the third man. dice is some extra mo- bonus money. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Yo. Um, so yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they go around and they, they, they're giving us basically a tour of the Wu Mansion mm-hmm. East, right? So um, I think they start off like 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 ghosts is like in the tub. You know what I'm saying? They they messing with the intercom. Like these cats don't even know what intercom is. Mm-hmm. It's, it's hilarious. Uh, what's it, my man? What's his Ray got a got a panini? Or was it a uh, George Foreman? George, George Foreman grill, but he's like, making paninis on there. Yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, he is the chef because I've never even thought that you could make paninis on the guy. Oh, I've done it, bro. You've done it. Yeah, with salmon in the middle and everything. So yeah. See, you was on some chef I, shit, I, I like it, the man. chef. You see. And the uh, motherfucker taking that shit on tour too. That was how much he liked that oh shit. Oh my god, dog! The way that played out, son. They, they. Hey, put, that motherfucker took I it think on they might have put Buddy Hand in there, son. What he did. Yeah. <laughs> but I, th- I think I remember about them yeah, beating up a two, uh, a tour bus driver at some point. I oh, think yeah. that I remember oh, that dude, hearing about that. That dude earned that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For on sure. the show. Shit, yeah. butt naked, oh, and yo. you cooking on my joint. Yo, he was like, yo, it's it's like thread in this joint, son. <laughs> yo. I don't even want to know He's what. Like, Who been from. cooking on my grill? You know what I'm saying. Hey, shout out to Shamik Moore playing Ray. Yo, oh, you man. are doing an excellent job. But behind Yo, masterful. Uh, TJ masterful. Adams playing ODB, you are doing a masterful job yeah. playing Ray Kwan. Yeah. You are getting every little small little funny thing about him. About the Ray. The little idiosyncrasies idiosyncrasy about uh, Ray, you getting all that shit. All of that. <laughs> Yo, we was I, well, I went to go see him, the uh, the Wu, not the last time we saw him. We saw, I seen the Wu twice since this started. That's crazy. But... Uh, Ray was on stage when he was over at Pops. He was like, yo, y'all watching this show? He's like, yo, y'all think that little nigga is me, son? <laughs> He's like, nah, that's me. He's doing a hell of a job, He son. is. He's like, yeah, he is. He, he is. is. Hats off to him, man. Uh, oh, so RZA, RZA for the for the process of all the, the work that he's under, he gave up. He basically went on a fast and stopped mm-hmm. smoking mm-hmm. and stopped drinking. And stopped fucking. And yeah, basically, well, that was uh, it, like I was like not even on purpose, like right. Yeah, I'm just, just saying it was just a byproduct yeah, of him doing everything. Yeah, um, I'm interested in why how he was able to um, have a whole another woman be a part of his whole like his part of his thing. Which mean another? I mean, like, how would your lady feel if you had a whole section of your show about your life and just focus in on another woman? Who is this other woman though? Because only the, know the one that went Ohio. The, the, yeah, Mecca. I, yeah, but I'm saying, but yeah. that's not your current lady. Like, oh, you, like I'm just, right, like today. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. like as as you you presenting it. I mean, and and it wasn't a woman you ended up marrying. And have yeah. no, she had no, he had no kids with her, no nothing. Because he ended up getting married to another woman. I hope they still cool, honestly, bro. Maybe and that's it, like, and maybe I don't know, but I'm just saying that was like wow. He, she must have been really affected. Yeah, with, for him to uh, to because yeah. I mean, you got to think how many other people have dated somebody. For years in their biography, and they don't mention them at all. Put bring them up in their story of their life. Yeah, and you honestly, she. I guess he wouldn't even have to talk about it. That's what I'm saying. She didn't have to. Yeah. Talk, he didn't talk. Have to, or just yeah. have a Damn, random woman real. say they breaking up with him. Like she was on. She was on two seasons. She on season two. Yeah. She's on season three for episodes, and she's the impetus for him Did saying she, that I had to uh, sacrifice the queen to be able to make it move. happen. Chess move. Yeah, yeah. The queen's the queen's sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if the if the if the storyline changes much if she's not there. Like even in Ohio, like yeah, you could have just said the girl, yeah. my girl left me. Mm-hmm. The queen, you can he could have did everything without that character Having being there. So character. she must have meant a lot, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Mecca must have meant a lot. So after the Takao album, which is wildly popular, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's it's making it's pushing units. It's, it's getting them out. Shout one of the biggest bass songs, Biscuits, uh, on that album, <laughs> Yo, number two. Like, 
Hey, you, yo, you have to edit in. You might have to edit in. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We do not own the rights to this yes. music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> First of all. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so after the Takao album, he's starting to focus on, and the lineup was Jizza, Dirty, and then INS. And INS, like they were talking about it because INS is steadily trying to get Find like get his, get, get find the, the yeah get the footage off of that album yeah so he takes it matter of fact yeah so he takes it to a data recovery but th- that's true though I heard that is true word yeah that because I think I read somewhere that he did that back then he, took he, it to NASA. he snuck it out of the studio yeah, and, and took it to NASA for real for yeah. real like and paid like like five six grand Yo, to try to get, get his recovery. money back since they couldn't help him and I don't know if that was I don't the know, truth son. though with that's yeah but in, on on the storyline I mean it lines up at least yeah. what you heard yeah. yeah so it's a data recovery situation unsuccessful. Uh, because it wasn't just water that contaminated it. It was some fecal matter on that joint is what they said. And I was like, damn, like, what the fuck? Could have been urine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, from the water fries. From the pipes. Anywhere. Yeah, because yeah. it was a pipe flood. Yeah. yeah so that's, damn, it could have been anything then. Low and key. I think it's crazy because it makes sense now that Dex album got messed up in the fray. Yeah. Because Meths was done. Yeah. In, in that period. Yes. Yep. He hadn't even did Dirty's beats. Dirt, we find well, out Dirty's beats are getting done. Getting done like currently or yeah. during, in in the in the present time. Yeah, yeah. And so nobody only, else's nobody else's stuff was done. I mean, I think he may have some beats from other stuff people done, but he had to redo some of it. Yeah, but but like an entire project, an entire project. It was it was probably gonna be Meth then Deck. Yeah, and and what Deck says on episode four, I was like, damn, he is on every song. Damn, every man. song, every one of the hit songs, like yeah. every one of them. I'm like, yeah, when he talking about compensation. And he said it even in episode uh, one. He was like, yo, he said, yo, you always come to me, you know what I'm saying, to so start it's, off it's a, it's track, a track, Yep. but you're pushing me back, you know what I'm saying, the for the album piece. And so, yeah, that's kind of, he was, I mean, that was a wild dynamic. Because, but he didn't have a solo deal, though, did he? Uh, no, they were shopping for one. And that's also, to get to the point about, like, like he didn't, him and him and uh, RZA just wasn't, like, locked in creati- create, creatively, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And so, like, he was in the studio on the episode. He was like, yo, that's the wrong snare. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the wrong this, that's the wrong that. And he was just like, yo, RZA was like, yo, let's take five, bro. Or let's go to another song. He was like, son, this album has to represent me. Like, you went through this with Prince Rakim. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should understand where I'm but at. I'm, I wonder what was on the original that he was digging so much. I know, man. That, that, that now he's, pr- like, he's pushing against them. And it's like, too, like... He might be one of them artists that can only X like the, his best one is his first one. The you know first take is the best yeah. take. Yeah, it's a lot of artists like that, man. Cause you might get in your head too much. And then you're doing other stuff. Um you seeing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Moving and so you, you over. You like, okay, meth got this to cow popping now. Yo. And yeah, everybody's chasing meth and it's everybody's success. chasing meth. And yeah. nobody still ain't got meth. To, to this, this day, day. <laughs> yo, that's that first myth, and nobody's got it. They ain't uh, gonna get it either. Let me see, Vine. Let me see, Vine is uh, 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 always he's, he's steadily pressing RZA about these deadlines. Right, he got to though. He's you got have to. to. Um, he's got just to. because, I, well, and they talked about it too. Like the breach of the the, the penalty for breaching contract is wild. Oh, it's f- for real, for real. And you got to think they dealing with Electra. They like people understand like Electra. You talking about a big yeah? It was one seventy five because Rizzo was like, "Yo, if we don't, when he got to the, to mm-hmm. the and we're jumping around, you know yeah, yeah, but, we, they know we covering one through you know four, so <laughs> we covering just, everything is a holistic. You know, there's uh, no hard uh, lines, yeah. yeah. So he was like, "Yeah, so if we breach this contract, and he cut him off, like Rizzo cut him off, cut Vine off, he's like, what, we gonna have to pay back the one seventy five? He's like, no, we got to pay back eight hundred. Mm-hmm. Eight hundred thousand is the penalty for breaching." And he was like, yo, we cannot afford to lose. Like, we can't afford that. You know what I'm saying? We got this money. We're tied in. Uh, Power's trying to, I and mean, Power's trying to pull from the pot because he's trying to get the retail game popping. To get the, get, trying to get the woo work. The man. legendary, you know, saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's trying to get woo work, So, baby. which I had quite a bit of. Actually. I did too. Yeah. I think I might have some boo like shit, though, on the low. Where? Oh, no. Because. And they had a tag in the back, yeah? Well, no, 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 no. Because I, I, had, I had an early shirt that I got from Chicago in like 94. And it, when we go I to episode four, okay. it makes sense when he was like, we ain't even got nobody out there. I mean, I, yeah. I don't even know what the tag. I didn't know that the Wu tag was a Wu tag. Then. Yeah, it was just yeah, a t-shirt. It was just a t-shirt with a hot press. You just go grab and I'm just grabbing it from the store. Done. So I think it was bootleg. Man, that's crazy. I think it was bootleg. It which was makes like, sense. How did they, yo, because he was like, 
Yo, son is bootlegging the dude. It's like, uh, uh, Vine was like, Power said that. And Vine was like, how you know? He was like, because we don't make female clothes. Yep. We ain't even made no none. He's like, because we ain't, yeah. And Vine was like, well, maybe we, we should. Started, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was kind of yeah, ill how and, they. And, and even skipping in, like, we can just yeah. stay in that zone. Yeah. It was ill that the fact that he was like, yo, it's this thing called the internet. That what? People, oh, remember the kid that was talking to him with the t-shirt oh oh on the bus yeah and he was like oh, we got son. a whole message board and remember he's like we got a message board and he was like i don't give a fuck and i was like that makes sense because the fucking woo online was a thing and you gotta think it that makes yeah. sense back then with the message board and them fucking uh the dial-ups yeah aol chat rooms and shit if somebody got yeah, a wu-tang aol oh, chat man. room and no, those things. Following I mean, the, the woo was big. Remember what the woo? You, you can go get your woo name right now. You can go now. Right still. now, that's how Childish Gambino yeah, got his exactly. name. Exactly. So on I'm the saying woo, uh, the, the, it, word it, was, it was interesting that, he, that they that they threw that in there. So this is what confused me because I thought I didn't I didn't I don't think I realized until like mid whatever episode that they had two mansions. I thought they only had the L.A. mansion. Mm -mm. So I'm thrown off because I'm like, wait so a minute. Jersey, like how they getting to New York so fast? How they getting, to, like, you know what I'm saying? How they getting back to Staten so fast? Yeah, because remember, no, the other one is during Wu-Tang Forever. Remember? The when LA they do what the L.A. joint is during okay. Wu-Tang Forever because Biggie and Pocket already been dead. Yeah, because Bus, Bus pulled up to the joint. But that was, I thought you think Bus was do that at, play Buster? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dog. I think I could have did a better job. Yeah, that's what I was, I was like. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "Focus ain't gonna like this." No, I'm not gonna like this. Shit. I could, I could name as a couple of people. I saw it, I was like, "Focus ain't gonna like nah, this." Nah, money. Like, it, but he he dropped some. Like, it was neat to see that they even incorporated Bus. Yeah, they, he was early in the game with that, and I like the fact that he touched on. He was like, "Yo, I'm working on this project with John Singleton." Matter of fact, y'all, what was that project? You know what I'm saying? If y'all mm -hmm. don't know this project. That he was working on, we gotta talk. It's hard um, learning. Flat out, he just hard gave learning. you the answer. You know what I'm saying? There it <laughs> is. Learning. Higher learning, man. Yeah, Iconic. and then what? Well, uh, I was looking. I was like, there. And and, re, and going back to the meth thing, since we're talking about outside projects, yeah. they never have yet to mention that meth is on Biggie's album. And I'm like, why? Has that, that's not why is why was the re, the remix? They should have even dropped that in there. Of like, I mean, meth is the biggest thing. He's the only only. Artist on Biggie's album, like somebody could have been like crazy saying that, like, because that he's the only feature on the whole album. He's the only feature, though. The what? Yep. Oh my God, that song is huge. Yeah. Like I'm saying, there's so much story with Meth oh, that, that we're not getting. Crazy. If we don't get any Red Man with him and that, like, that, if that episode of Meth, Meth doesn't have him and Red Man and how they built for the, the for the, 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 uh, the month of man and yeah. how they became that, then we, I know for, definitely they didn't trust, uh, Dave East's act. They, they definitely didn't trust <laughs> him. Like it's hundred so percent. If Bus has has a has a character like uh what do you call that? Uh cameo, Red has to, dog, at That's some it. point. So if he doesn't, we know that it's because they think Davies is a weak actor and I I'm Davies, I hope you do better. They can't find a good red. That doesn't even matter because you can find <laughs> no, you can find a red. Yo. Yeah, you can find a red. Because that bus was. I'm sorry, man. Whoever you are, son, I just is. You know. Yeah, but I'm from. What, what, I'm from that time. Yeah, you not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's this. It is. It's all it is. good. It's like you Anthony Mackie playing Tupac. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's <laughs> the love, though. It's, it's yeah, the effort. yeah. It's the, it's the visibility. It's just hard to kind of fixate uh, on it. So let me see where we at. Uh, Def Jam wants. Oh, so Def Jam. Def Jam wants a remix. Another remix. So now. I've I've been waiting for you to talk about this. Okay, let's go. There are two remixes, people. Two, two. They didn't touch on the second one, the video remix. That's RZA's. So they did, but they didn't play it. He said, "Cause what happened was Vine was like, I'm not trying to put nothing else on your plate." Right, but remember he'd already. He's like, "I ain't tripping. Let them do it." Yeah, but before that, he was like, "Cause Vine said Def Jam wants a remix for All I Need," and RZA said, "I already did that." He said they want another one because the one you did was to uh it's 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 for the streets and for the clubs and they want something for the radio. I thought that he was saying, okay, well this this is an interesting discussion then because yeah. I thought he was saying I already did that, meaning the album version. Well, no, nah, because Vine said they want a remix and he said I already did that. Okay, I thought he was yeah. saying he ain't doing no he don't do remixes. I was taking it as oh no he don't yeah. do remixes. Nah, he touched on the fact that he already okay. did one, okay, that but it was too okay. but they said it was too gritty and he was that's so the video close version. That's the video version exactly. Yeah, and he was so close to platinum that like this would push a more radio friendly, more bop kind of yeah you know smooth joint. So because but, because they both came out at the same time though. Correct, correct, and then 
they was. They I've did, never they did. heard the the. I've never heard the video version on radio. See what I'm saying? I've only heard the the re- puffy. I ain't even heard the like the only version of all I need is the it's remix that I've heard the radio playing. The puffy joint. Yep. And they didn't even touch on who was gonna do it until like another like because on season one, I mean episode one, excuse me, they didn't say who was gonna be doing the remix. He just mm-hmm. said he said they want one, and then he was like, let let somebody else do it. And Vine was like, it's not, it's gonna be the first one that you didn't touch. He's just like, yo, let him do it. I'm too busy. And then it came back, and uh, I can't remember what part, but it was. Uh, but Vine was like, who did he tell it was Puff? It was. It was. Um. It was uh, to uh, RZA. It was to RZA. He was like. He's like. He was no. Because he asked him. He's like. So who ended up doing it? He was oh like, Puff. yeah. And he was like. And he's like. Oh Phew. shit. Let me hear it. He's like. Yeah. He's like. Yo. Where did I put that joint? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, yeah. Where did I put the the dat machine. The, the, the dat machine. machine. He was like, he just moved into the offices. He was like, yo, let Correct. me where's that dap machine at? And he so, put it on. And he was like, yeah, they, they, he was like, yo, let, let, let me hear it. They cut the commercial and all that. But, but then, and then, okay, so cut then. Mm-hmm. This is the first time we see meth. The first time we see meth on the series middle of second episode is when they're playing him the mm-hmm. remix. It's just RZA and meth. And, meth. and, and that was quick. There. And that was like, Minute a minute or two that yeah. wasn't even that long. It was a quick joint. Yeah, it's quick. That's what I'm trying to say. I and think was like, oh, yeah. it goes back to what I think the directors is looking at. Like, so, but now look out for comments. Something with it. with uh with Divine. Yeah, Divine is way more humble in this TV oh, show. Period. In, in, Overall, in real than real life. life. Yes, yeah, that's a fact. Oh my god! That's a fact. Like, if, if y'all watch uh, from Mice and Men, but. And, and you will know <laughs> what uh, what I mean. And but then something. they try to sneak it in, like he when he was like uh. Go ahead and let me be the bad guy. I was like, oh, really? They yeah. always thought you was the bad guy, yeah. brother. It wasn't yeah. because of RZA uh, being upset about let, this. Let them the name always thought she was the asshole, like from the jump. <laughs> yeah. That's real. But he's way more humble and nice in this, and I think it's because the actor is a a, a, a congenial actor. Yeah. He can't portray being like an asshole like mm. Divine is in real life. Mm. You think he's spending enough time with Vine, like personal yeah, time? Yeah, I just think he can't. I just think he's he doesn't. Have, I just off. think his personality is not That's going real. not going to give it out. Let me see. Uh... Oh, 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 so Ray, Ray, all right, so Rifkin, Ray, Ghost. Hey, uh, sidebar, why you talking about Rifkin? Yeah. Yo, they show how much he loved black girls. Oh, what, oh, what, well, you know, see when they was in the club? Not just that, when they were back at the crib, remember he had two girls in his lap at the party. Oh, for sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So hold on, we're going to circle back around to that, because that's, that's the next one yeah. we'll talk about. Before the house party, because mm-hmm. that was the celebration of what I'm about to talk about. So they were talking about, because RZA and, and Vine were like, well, Vine was like, I got to go meet meet with Rifkin about Ray's solo, solo deal over at Loud. Uh, I guess RCA Loud. Mm-hmm. And then, so <clears throat> RZA, like most things, he's like, I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? I can't be creative and be an exec. Mm-hmm. I need you to go handle this. And Vine was like, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? After a little bit of dialogue, I'm on it. Um, he said, but yo, instead of 300, get them four. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo. So when they were in the club, that's when they got introduced to Chris Dow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris Dow. Chris Dow. What do you call it? Crystal? He crystal. called Crystal like, at first. Yeah, what's that, yeah. he's, he's, what's that crystal? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, uh, Rifkin, it was Rifkin, uh, Vine, Ghost, Ray and who else? It was was it five of them? I don't remember. It was Ray, Ghost, Vine, and this Rifkin. I think it was just them. Just them four. Yeah, I think it was just them four. So yeah, so you know that's who's who's like, yo, we gonna need that four. Rifkin was like, yo, them go upstairs numbers. He was like, I'll go with you, man. I'll get on the elevator with you. We gotta get that four though. Uh, yeah, man, that was um, um. Oh shoot, I lost my, I lost my. my but no, no. But the thing that is dope is I will say. Is the idea they're getting oh. four, not just for uh, for Ray, but that's for the whole crew because everybody eats off everybody's album. Correct, correct, correct. The Amex, the Amex car yep. joint. Yep. So yeah, so actually, I was trying to establish the the ask because the the house party comes up next, which means they got the four mm-hmm. right. And before they even did that, like Vine feels slighted. He feels slighted a lot because he's 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 breaking down some doors the cat's never seen. So he's going up to Electra. 
He's telling people he's an exec. They don't know what that looks like. You know yeah, what I'm especially a black exec. Exactly. Unless, unless you From fucking Barry Gordy, and especially if you Barry, unless you Barry Gordy or yeah. Russell Simmons or yeah. one of those cats, or and probably even Russell Ivy Simmons. League dudes. Yeah, like yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what. Because somebody said that uh, Rifkin said that to him. Yeah, exactly. If you ain't, he's like all these Ivy League dudes. Like they are, they already know each other. They, yeah, exactly. So he was like, "Yo," he said, "We got the four hundred. He was like, "Yeah, but what I've gotten it." If you weren't standing next to if me, you and baby he got on a suit and Rifkin got on like Jesus. damn near pajamas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Hey, Rifkin's he, out there. He ain't wilding, but he's he just like just doing, just, his just, just doing his thing. So he was like, yeah, and he told Vine. Rifkin told Vine. He was like, yo, um, yeah, you just got to be more present. Like you got to come up here more regularly. They'll, they'll warm up to you. He said, and if they don't warm up to you, just do it for the people coming behind you. Because, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, this, they going to see somebody else like you coming up so Yeah, yeah. So, all right, now fast forward. We got the house party, right? <laughs> Clearly got the 400,000. Mm-hmm. Salute to Ray on, on that situation. Who got, who got, was it, uh, who got five? Was it, uh, I got it. Oh, my Dirty did. Nah. Dirty uh, didn't get five from Electra? Nah. No, because he uh, got only 100 and something though, right? Let me see. It was, uh, it's in my notes, man. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, somebody got five. So he was trying to offer. They were trying to trying to offer uh, Ray three, and somebody got five. Man, was it Ghost then? I'm gonna come up. It's gonna come up in my. Because Ghost didn't no. Ghost didn't even have a solo deal yet. Nah. Because Ghost, it. I don't even think get Ghost get his solo deal till after. Uh, fucking um, Ray's album, but uh, maybe right. Maybe. Yeah, no, because right. that's remember that was the things like, dude, I'm putting you on the album now, and we can segue into their relationship, them making that. I don't know if that's how they did it to coming together to do that album, but it was awesome. Like the whole idea of them working together and like sitting there talking it through. But you you figure out who did the yeah? Five? Just Jizzle got five. Jizzle got five. Jizzle got five from Geffen. My bad. Right. Jizzle no, no, got yeah, five from okay, Geffen. That's right. Right. Because the order goes, I believe, Meth, ODB, Jizzle, mm-hmm. then Ray. Still no INS. I mean, INS didn't come out till 2000. Shit, 99. Uh, shit, Meth already had dropped another one. Fucking uh, Ghost had dropped. Another Wu album yeah. had dropped. And I believe. Yeah. Uh, no, not Ghost. Ghostface dropped 2000. Well, he came out around like Iron Flag time or something like that, yo. Like no, INS. No, no. Uncontrolled INS, no, no. It's before Supreme Clientel. Supreme Clientel is right before. So 99. I, yeah. So, it's so 99. Two, Supreme is like 2000. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man. So anyway, yeah. So Jizzle got five. So my bad. I was, yeah. You know, it's gonna bother me. Wow, but that's ill though. That Jizzle got five. Yeah, Jizzle got five from Geffen, man. Um, yeah. So they got ready to f- the four, and then he had. So he saw these two white joints, man. When they was at up in Staten, they <laughs> dropped. Of course, they dropped. Of course, right. right? And I was like, wait a minute. I thought they was God. Son. What's what's going on with this? I don't even know. I don't even know if he was. Ne- it's like he was almost like voyeuristic of them. Yeah. Like okay. like like. I don't want to just be around. I don't even know if I even want to mess with them. Just have them around. Yeah. Just be just just, just being just, around. Yeah. yeah. And they was they was from uh, foreigners. That was, I think that was more of anything. Oh, they were foreigners. They were like Norway or Sweden or some shit. De- yeah, Denmark. And I think that's Norway, showing like the yeah. wool being international and like having an international Pretty kind of early too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so they was like they at they came to the house party. That's, they that's, that's the first the international R and B me rap group. Is Wu Tang? Period, right? Period. Yes. Word? Nah, oh Slick that, Rick. No, Slick Rick from over there. No, no, I'm talking about where he, they were internationally big. Is the Wu? Oh, you mean you mean just like having reach? Yeah, like I'm talking general. about their reach. I can. See it's that. the Wu. I can see that. It's the Wu. You know hands saying? down, like hands down, it's the Wu. I don't think that was what they was trying, trying to show. To like, think about it. it. You right? You yeah. gotta be right. One where they were like straight in. The, you gotta remember when they was in the movie to show they were showing them in Tokyo and yeah, uh, all these kind of different places. They ain't showed them in America on their tour. Yeah, yeah. I'm really trying to rack my brain to it's see nobody if I can think. first. Only one maybe if you want to press it, and I don't even think they even got as big as the Wu or initially before them is Run DMC. That's oh, it. that's who I was. That's where I was going. But I don't think man the Wu was. I think the Wu was just way they bigger. They took way off. Yeah. Oh, they took way off internationally. Yeah, yes, that's real. Yes, that's that's fair. Yeah. So the white girls in the joint celebrating, they go up to Ray's room because that's who invited them, mm-hmm. and they go and they play. You remember the song they was playing? They was playing AZ, right? Nah, they was playing. Uh, was they playing OC. Nice? They was playing OC. OC. Uh, yeah, nineteen ninety four. Yeah. And I wrote it down too because I was like, yo, that's that. So I gotta mention it. But uh, anyway, yeah, it was uh, it was OC man. Time is up. Time is up. Oh, that's what is crazy. Yeah. That sample. What's that sample? The um, 
That's uh, it's not Led Demerlay. It's uh, ah oh, man, it ain't Freddie Hubbard. I'm trying to think of who it is, but yeah, yeah. So they playing that. He's like, yo, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no woo, ain't no non woo artists being played. You ever saying in the woo mansion? And it's a ghost walks in. And he's like, yo, what the hell is going on in here? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. It's like, yo, I told him there ain't no, ain't no other artists in, in, <laughs> yeah, in, in the Yeah, that's exactly. Because, of course, uh, like, Ghost is like, nah. Yo, no, he's no, like, no. yo, son, you ain't tell him? You, you, we don't do that. No, we don't do that, yo. So, yeah, he's like, I tried to tell him, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I tried saying? to tell him his only woo stuff. Yo. And, but that makes sense because it feels like, in, in, in a, to a certain extent, yeah. That may be the downfall of the Wu to a certain extent as well. Being so isolated from the from everybody else. Uh beats wise, everything. Everything, yeah. This sound didn't evolve necessarily. Nope. Everybody and then, else. And Rizzler, uh, you know, it's, it's a couple artists that did that. that oh no, no, no. It's not just way. them. Yeah, it's yeah, not just yeah. them. I mean being being isolated like that is like kind of the death of, of, yeah. of, of artists. That's uh, real, so man. It is this, that's not sample. just hip hop either, yo. No, no, that's across the board. Yeah, I'm trying to see this sample, man. That sample uh, is insane, bro. We gotta come back to that. And that so, OC time is up. Let's talk about let's talk about dirt for a second, uh, man. So I'm upset with that that third episode was was uh was not needed, man. Yo, before we get to that wild, sh- sh- yeah, I mean, piece of whatever. No, I loved it artistically. Don't get it twisted. I loved the artistically. It was yeah, it, but was it wasn't wild. needed uh, um, in general. So he's he's uh, he's still upset about the whole it's death less, jam. De, uh, less Demerlay, a day in the it life. It was Led Demerlay. Yep. See a day yep. in the life. Yep. Dum, bum, bum. Yep. Ba-dum, bum, bum, bum. Have you heard that whole song? No, I haven't. It's not. one of my favorite songs. I'm I don't even know why I can, couldn't out, think man. of the name, but yeah, it's amazing, bro. Yeah, I'm about to pick that out. Um, uh, yeah, so Dirt is still mad about the whole, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, business deal. Like he wasn't consulted first about the death jam. Slash uh, electric situation. Yeah. So what does he do? He goes he he goes off on a binge. So the the first time they even show him, he's like snorting off a of stripper's. You know what I'm saying? Stripper's ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so he's like uh, just wilding out the gate. They established that pretty early, and then it's like you know what I'm saying. He cuts to that like another. The next scene we see him in, he's uh, he's trying to cop. Well, now before the cop, he was he was running up on the bootleg dude. In right, the right, right, right. And he was like, he's he like, yo, he's like, yeah. you can't be. There was, he was these bootlegging meths out. Yeah, exactly. And he was like, and he's he even like, on this he, album, he, son. He's, he, was he on it? Oh, nah, no, he wasn't. He's like, yo, you're not even like, yo, on this. This is your meths album. It's my album, son. That's how we roll. We yeah, brothers. Cause he, cause, yeah, because he get the percentage. Yeah, everybody eats off everybody's stuff. So he was like, yo, when you coming out with your joint? He was just mm-hmm. like, yeah, man. When my when my cousin stopped sunning me, right? Basically, right. So and then they cut again to dirt, and yeah, he's about to. That's when you know I'm saying on the corner, he's about mm-hmm. to do a little, little joint, a little hand to hand, <laughs> little hand to hand, and the cops pull him up. He's like, "Yo, we ain't do nothing." He's like, "Yeah, you was about to." He's like, and he burnt out, and they couldn't catch him. He ran up in a in, a, in an apartment. He was good. The apartment had a dog in it. <laughs> of course, scared the dogs. Oh, of course, right? So he jumps out the window, falls basically face first onto the concrete, and winds up in the hospital. Toxicology was wild, by the way. I don't know if you remember what they said was in his system, but it was. Oh, did you? They said it in the show. Yeah. What they say was in his system? They said he had uh, alcohol, cocaine, weed, and PCP. Damn. All in his system, yo. So Rizza picks up his chart. He's like alcohol, marijuana, cocaine, PCP. Damn. Like, like just like kept reading the joint. Oh, sidebar too. Where they was because he he took Shuri's car. He stole Shuri's mm-hmm. car. Uh, out the hospital, still in his gown. That's some shit my granddaddy did. Mm-hmm. I gotta run that to you in a minute. <laughs> definitely did that. You know oh saying? snap! So his granddad did that shit. Oh yeah, he definitely did that. Um, he was he was actually known for that. Not just like escaping the hospital. Uh, it happened at least three times. But <laughs> uh, yeah, just wild. my mama's pops. You know, what I'm saying rest <laughs> in peace, Smiley. Uh, but yeah, so he he escapes with Shuri's joint. They looking for him. You know what I'm saying? They got they find they find him at Shuri's house, right? But he left because he found out the Bobby was coming. coming through to the hospital. And then Vine showed up, you know what I'm saying, shortly thereafter. But he didn't know about Vine because he was already gone. But he left because he found out Bobby was coming. And uh the dude that was on the uh on the screen, there was a there was a there was a screen in the back. You gotta rewatch it. 
There's a screen in the back, and it's a dude on the screen. I was wondering if you saw who it was. Who was it? So when Vine, it was Vine Shuri, Vine's uh, fiance, and Bobby. They were all all four there, and it was Puff on the screen in the back. But it wasn't Puff. It was his son. It was Christian. The same cat that they met on the street that played his, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out to him, too. Oh, so that was Puff's son that played him? Yes, sir. Oh, shit. I yes, didn't know sir. that. Yes, sir. So was, what What video was it that he was supposed to be in? It was an interview. Oh, it was just showing him Yeah, it was like an old interview. But I was looking. I was like, yo, who is that? Because it's all, they, man, they, they slick. Like, if you watch it twice, three times, yeah. you pick up on, like, most things. You pick yeah. up on. So, yeah, nah, it was. So that's was, his son. Oh, that's so, his, is that's that, so that's King twin. Holmes, right? Nah, that's Christian. That's the youngest? I don't know where he falls, but he's not the oldest. Okay, because the yeah. oldest is the light-skinned Justin. Yeah, you might have to look that up, too. So yeah, I don't know. See, yeah, these yeah, cats yeah. with all these kids, bro. But yeah, yeah that, that was Christian that, that, uh, that played him. And he played him, like, dead on. You know what I'm saying? And then we get reintroduced to the Puffy character outside. You know what I'm saying? Where uh, Cause Vine got a got an office now, which is, was also threw me off about the uh, the mansion. I was like, how is his how is his office in Manhattan? That is, one, it's King Kong's. That is, that King, is King, Kong. King Kong. Yep. Yep. How Christian is, is his? Kong's. So it's not okay. Christian is King Kong. Yep. Okay. 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 Cool. So yeah, shout out to him, man. Yo, he played he played his pops like dead on, man. Not you thought it was Puff. Yeah, I was like, damn, yeah. I was like, this dude ain't doing a bad job. That's because your mind, that's because your mind was in 94. It looked like, like okay. Puff. I was yeah. like, this dude ain't doing bad. Damn, he sure enough is him. Damn. That's wild, ain't it? Damn. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, so they bought a they they leased an office in Manhattan. A couple blocks from Sony, a couple blocks from, from Bad Boy. From bad Boy. They was neighbors. Mm-hmm. Who else was there? It was like a couple of different big name joints. Def uh, Jam's probably was in the area. You know what I'm saying? So Puff was like, oh, Puff, that's when Puff was like, yo, what you think about the remix? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, when we going to do another collab, man? He's like, so yo. what do you think? What's the next collab? Oh, chill, mm-hmm. son. Let me see. <laughs> Don't see what? if you get it. No, the what was way the before, was that. before that. It was 94. What's the next collab? The next collab is not for two years later. So 96. Well, it came out in 97, but I'm assuming it was done in 96. What is it? The Long Kiss Goodnight, Biggie. Oh, man. Puff did the production on that too, no, right? No, that was RZA. Did it on Biggie. Oh, down. my God. Remember, bro. he did Long Kiss Goodnight. That's that's Tripping. Biggie. I mean, that's uh, RZA. Oh, my God. So I'm assuming that's when that's he's talking wild. about. That's the next. So that's the next because it's the next one. That's the next collaboration that they did was that. Yes, yo, ass, good night. That's RZA. That's crazy. Oh, yo, you know who else did that? That used that same joint was D Block. Oh, that's right. They sure did. Oh, masterful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, oh, it was some Chic Puff, Luch. Oh, uh, they might have been. <laughs> I think they was <laughs> some Puff. <laughs> I gotta run that up. I think they was listening. I think D-block, they was just some Puff. Yeah, yeah I think was, they was some Puff. That was amazing, son. Yeah, but no, that's the next collabo is that. I, Damn, thank you, man. Yeah, that's, that's the only, crazy. I don't even think, that's the only time that ba- him ever doing anything for Biggie or anybody else was that. I would have loved to see more of that. Yeah, but this, but it was, but those different. different. So, yeah, that was just like, especially then. I mean, people. I mean, people don't understand now. People talk about it, but at that time, like, yeah, those worlds were so much different. People think. I mean, hip hop is stratified now, and maybe not as stratified. Actually, hip hop is not as stratified as much as it was then. Like there was literally two different worlds. Yeah, that was backpack, uh, this down south, and jiggy. What you think? Where did you think Daylight fit in that? Because I don't. I think people put them in backpack. Yeah, it was but, a but there was levels to backpack, backpack but it was yeah. levels to backpack though. That's what I'm you saying. know what I'm saying? Like, because yo, because I mean, I don't know. Because backpack, you had the young back, the, the the backpack backpack generation is the fucking boot camp click shit. That's yeah, the beginning exactly. of the back. Like, because you got to think them motherfuckers was really literally wearing literally backpacks, backpacks on stage. So that that is that's your backpack era, but I think people will lump them or maybe conscious music, but not even conscious, because backpack has conscious that splits off with Moe, mm. and Talib and Common go this way. Yeah, the whole but then you got backpack. Records. Yeah, the whole yeah. raucous is this way, but then yeah. you got the whole uh uh duck down this way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's backpack, backpack that it splits off into a whole nother BDP. Yep, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. So it's 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 so many different lanes, Yo. but but Puffy was his own thing though. So yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, because they're man, dude. Puffy changed everything. Everybody was trying to be like Puff. 
It was wild. Man. Nas converted to being like that. Jay Z did jiggy. like jiggy that the jiggy, jiggy, yeah. Shiny suits, bright ass music videos. Yeah, yo, mad like just loud pop samples. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Loud pop samples. There you go. Yeah. 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 Big time loud pop samples, man. So before I hit on the next joint, mm-hmm. I want to say rest in peace to True Goy. Yes. Yes. Plug two. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. we lost another Titan. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's that's we're gonna feel that one forever. So yeah. Um, you Since know we robbed Dayla shit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So peace to peace and, and yeah, thanks, peace to you peace. Know what I'm saying? So and to your family. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah so what i liked too was was and it put me in a spot because they hated each other the ray ghost dynamic i love the way their relationship it's built beautiful man i like how like he was like i don't know who i am i only got four tracks past uh what was it um oh, on 36 chambers yeah he's yeah, yeah. he said like, hey, i only got four tracks. i don't know like who i am and Ghost was like, and I don't know how true this is, but it seems like it was dead on. He was like, yo, let's go watch a flick real quick and say where I get my inspiration from. Because they, like, they got a lot of those things from, what? which movie is that? The uh, Is it White Heat? What is it where uh, it's basically two cats and they back to back killing each other, people the whole movie? Uh, um, Is it? Uh, it's a Asian One film. Time in America? Oh, okay. But One Time in America is one of them, yeah. but it was another joint. That I know, um, I forgot. Was it? Was it? No. On mice and men, they talked about how uh, what they came up with it. Uh, yeah. Um, Once upon a time in America was one that they referenced. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah. So like you could start seeing light bulb moments. Like he was like, "Yo, you the Tony Montana of the streets." He was like, "Yo, they saw." He said, "La Costa, I know, said I." You know what I'm saying? Oh, sidebar. When he was talking about like what they were watching and Jizza and Killer came in master killer that is came in uh while they was watching the movie you could still you could see like right then like that was the first sign that ray was like not rocking with mk at all son like and it makes sense though man yo it, it i can does. i felt ray to a certain extent yeah but but the overall thing of like everybody's eating off everybody would be lost if we got into some shit like that it would it was but it was like like Ray's thing was like what they talk about, like tier levels. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like based on contribution. But before we get to that point, like it was like while they were trying to figure out who Ray was, right? They're sitting there watching the joint, uh, and that's when they had the light bulb moment on the couch. He was like, "It's John Woo's the killer." The killer, John. Okay, thank you. Yep, John Woo's the killer. So yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or they back to back with it. Mm-hmm. And at so, the end of the movie and everything they killing everybody together two main characters killing everybody together yeah yeah so he was like yo they, they were talking about the whole Staten Island thing and they was like even in the club with Rifkin he said I can't remember what gangster he said was it uh, uh, Lansky uh, uh, I can't think it was, a, it was a I don't know but the, they were like Ray and Ghost were like nah the I Only Listen to 90s Music podcast is a show for 80s babies who were 90s kids. If you were a No Limit Soldier, then this is your show. If you believe that cash money is not an army but was a navy, this is the show for you. If you and your friends ever tried to sing a song written by Escape, In Vogue, Shy, or Voiced Men at a talent show during middle school, this is your show. The I Only Listen to 90s Music podcast is a bunch of 80s babies talking about all the songs and things that we loved when we were kids and teenagers. So if you went to the skating rink and you were at a lock-in, this is the, the show for you. If you think that Tevin Campbell um, was the original prince of R&B, this is the show for you. If you don't understand the the conflict between Monica and Brandy, but you're kind of on Monica's side and understand why Brandy got punched, this is the show for you. Make sure that you tune in, subscribe, click the little subscribe link. We're here. We're going to talk about all things 90s music. This is the show for you. With your son, yeah. So... He was already on edge, and that pushed him over the edge. And he wasn't thinking rationally; he was going to walk back to New York from wherever they were. So, I mean, wow. in his book, he says that that was. I mean, I know in his book, he was saying that that was what he kind of felt like he was going to do. Yeah, and, you know what I'm saying. I again, I've never been that. In, I've never been him. Yeah, no, that's and that's you know when he's even talking to uh, to power, and he's like, 
man, I, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, you couldn't imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, who's the actor? I don't know. Who, who's the actor that's playing you guys? He's doing a hell of a job. Yeah, no, he's doing a good job. You guys got to be proud of that because he is expounding a lot maybe from you guys' perspective because I'm looking mm-hmm. at it like, I mean, let's keep it real. At that time, like this, this is as you get more respect for people as you get older. Sure. But at that time, I respect the Master Killer's an MC more than you got, and you Master Killer one of his own many songs as him. That's because Master Killer had bars though. But that's I what I'm think, saying. But but yeah. we got to think about it from a you guy perspective. How many songs he gonna be on? I mean, how many? When was his solo gonna drop? If you <laughs> if you got look, you got that's true. You got Meth, yeah. ODB, Ray, yeah, Ghost. Uh, Jizza, yeah. Um, I mean, Capadonna dropped. Capadonna dropped twice before he did. That's crazy because Cap ain't an original. No, Cap um, dropped twice. Deck came out before him. Yeah, um, well, he should have. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. I'm saying, even they even if even if he, I mean, and that was, and, and I think I I think the, and I wonder if they're gonna, they're not, they're not gonna get into it because we ain't got time. It's yeah. the reason I think Capadonna drops because Capadonna was taking on Wu Tang Records, I believe. So, but he didn't have a he didn't he that was the only thing he was signed to. I believe Raises, so. Was that was directly to uh to Divine and Power. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think that they that situation gave them a little more flexibility to come out with stuff faster. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, that's maybe the reason why he came out. What else happened in four, man? Um, the, t- uh, the, the tour, the, the uh uh Ghostface um, watching other people's pockets. Yo, Ghost. Well, you saw you saw Mook out there. Yeah, Mooking. Yeah, but you know he said, saying? "Yeah, I'm doing that." Yeah, he said, of course, yo, you can thank me for your your, your Jesus, Jesus peace. peace. Why was Ghost rocking a Jesus peace in a G-O-D? I don't know. I just, I just. He, he had a Jesus peace on in. Um, I'm just trying to figure in the, out. Uh, in the Wu Mansion one. I'm just. <laughs> the Wu West Coast one. My bad. Yeah, he did. We got, we got to differentiate for everybody because the West Coast one. Yeah. There's, there's the, uh, the Which Wu is the Mansion. only one I knew about yeah. essentially was the West Coast boy. Yeah. Which was wild. Bus was in that one too. In real life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think around the time he was filming Higher Learning. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, man, I don't know. Then maybe they pushed all that together and just yeah. tried to make that one big thing. Because That's why I was confused. I was yeah, like, because, yeah, that was, yeah, that's weird. You're lining up the time, and I'm like, that don't, that don't, uh, that don't, uh, that's just like, I don't know about but, that uh, one. Yeah, so the tour was hard. That was something else RZA tried to, to miss out on. Uh, or he tried to but sit you, on the yeah, executive I remember, bus. I remember them saying RZA wasn't on tour with them originally. Yeah. Yeah. For a long time, but not showing up. Yo, the lady that that power when power going back to I think it was episode one when power mm-hmm. was going around to, to the, the mall? apartment. Yeah, trying to get Wu in the joint. So she was like, just happened to be a Wu Tang head was at the last show. She was like, I don't understand why RZA wasn't there, but whatever. You know yeah, what I'm saying? she said that she said that. Yeah, uh, in the script, and so that's wild. So on the tour, he tried to be an executive, and that's when that's when Vine was like, let them hate me. You go be mm-hmm. an artist. And it, because he had, he needed to be on that bus with them cats. He did, bro. Because if he would have been over there, it would have got even more worse. They are, I mean, they already have a uh, trip, like relationship with RZA in general. Yeah. But it would have made it even worse. We wouldn't even gotten half these other albums. And then RZA went and took the whole back half of the bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the biggest section, yeah. anyway. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I, mean, I ain't mad at them. Nah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, them niggas is wild enough, friend. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> like, he wasn't about none of that. So. so what another piece is RZA getting the hating on Ghost? RZA was hating on Ghost with the, with old girl uh, Soraya from uh, oh uh, yeah. from um, you know why though son that's yeah because sure it's sister it's no 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 sister, yeah. but but even but Divine was even like dude she ain't dumb like dude, yeah. they, they stay out their motherfucking business like, yo son you knew about this like <laughs> like yeah like, yes. I didn't know no he said I didn't know exactly yeah he said but, but I'm sure they got an arrangement, arrangement yeah. he's like she ain't dumb did you hear the arrangement though. She was like, "Don't don't be falling in love with no shit." She yeah. She was like, "You go out there, you do your artist, be your be be your artist self, but come home." Yep. He was like, "Yo, you my earth, you the only one life come from." But you gotta be, look. Hey, Ghost was gangster though. He told old girl she Venus. She you ain't Earth. He said, "Yo, yo." He said, "Yo, <laughs> hey. Venus is the hottest planet. That's you, my Venus." Yeah. Like yeah. He said, "Cause you know my Earth," and he's like, "That's my girl. Is my Earth? Yeah. You my Venus." I was like. This dude then flipped it to have That's two different clean, women. <laughs> clean flip. Ghost face He was good with it. He was just like, I, I'm Venus. Yeah, yeah, I am Venus. I am the hottest. I am the hottest, yeah. So, nah, what Soraya's else? Is bad, she, though. she is bad, though. Yeah, she's bad. bad. I think she's better in this show than she was in, in Empire. Yeah, oh, way better. Crazy. Yeah, Soraya's bad, though. 
Rogers. Son now, supposedly she's supposed to be a real R and B artist that he was messing with back then. Who? And the internet's don't, everybody's trying to figure. Like, so she so, was around. She was in the Around the Way Girl right? video. But I thought she was playing, saying she was in there. Oh, because remember she said. I was I was in the round of green. She's like, nah, I'm just playing. Nah, she said, nah. She said what she said. She was, said I was the main girl, right? She, yeah, she said I wasn't. He said, oh, you was the around the way girl. She was like, nah, it should have been me, but it was uh, I was in it. But, but I wasn't. right, but I'm wondering what girl. We finna watch is. that video, son. We finna watch. But 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 suppose remember he said I'm gonna watch for you in your next video. Yeah. Yeah. So I was. That's why I was thinking that she was an R and B artist. Did, did she make it into any of their videos? Is the question. Ice cream. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's gotta, it's be, gotta ice be ice cream. It's gotta. Man. Yo, if they don't make that, if y'all don't make that connection and put her and ice cream in there. Bro, if y'all don't make ice cream, yes, the video, part is period. we're going to have a problem. <laughs> you see? Look, and because look, Writers, that was, we that need was, to see that. That was Woot, even though it is a debaucherous song, yeah. it is everything that, you know, that, that people want to say bad about hip hop. Poetry, son. But it got them, a lot of women love that song. Yo, Method Man on the Hook, son, we talked about this. Once again, the hook deliverer. Yeah. The hook yeah. deliverer. Yeah. Yeah, straight up. The hook deliverer. East Coast Nate Dog, man. Nice. No, <laughs> we talked he about might, this. He, is, uh, he might be. We talked about this, bro. He might be. It's my stand. Somebody, y'all in the comments, who is the East Coast Nate Dog is not meth? I mean, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no vibrato, ain't no, ain't no runs, no, yeah. None of that's from, from meth. Meth is going to give you straight up. Great hooks. Hooks. Straight up hooks, yeah. man. Uh, nobody's better on the East Coast than Method Man for hooks, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, Man, 50 no. Cent is a close second, but he's not better. 50 is, is a masterful hook writer, bro. Damn, man. I'm not doing that, man. But, uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to decline until I come up with something else. Son, yo. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to accept that until I come up with a better man, I, answer. I'd love to be wrong, but I'm, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Method Man. As far as his tenure in the game. For the uh, South, is it Sleepy Brown? It's got to be Sleepy oh. <laughs> this is, this is Brown. For the oh. South, is it Sleepy Brown? It's got to be Sleepy yeah, Brown. It's gotta be Sleepy Brown Organized South. noise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it's got to be Sleepy Brown for the South. Ain't no North. <laughs> Isn't there nobody for the North? Drake. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> damn Does Drake know? write all his stuff? No, he don't write it. I don't know, man. Don't what know, do man? I know, I mean, man? What do I He got do? jammed up in the, the, the Quentin Miller thing. You know, everything it's, is open now. You know what I mean? Damn, we ain't got nobody from the North. No Midwest. No Midwest. Busy Bone, man. Damn. It might be. Damn, is it Busy Bone? Because he was on some other people's tracks. Yo. Singing hooks. Yes, sir. Damn, man. Who might we be got? Busy bone. <laughs> Damn, yo, let me know. Yo, let me know, yo, son. Hold on, Who's man. the illest hook riders in the game, son? North, South, oh, East, I'm West. I'm about to make this a, a short right here. Like, you know what <laughs> is Busy we gotta Bone do a poll, bro. Is Busy Bone the Midwest? Yo, is he Midwest or or, or North? What is North? I mean, everything east of Philadelphia, north of Arkansas, and. <laughs> West of North of the Mason Dixon line. Yeah, north of Mason Dixon, west of Colorado. The Yankee states. North of Arkansas and east of Pennsylvania. That's Yo. the north. It's, so is Cleveland is Cleveland north yeah, or yeah, Midwest? No, it's Midwest. Okay, so busy bone. Yeah, busy bone it qualifies. I was saying yeah, busy bone straight up. fully qualifies. Straight up. I mean a, a, a In distant hip-hop. second In is the non porter from Detroit. Word. Yeah, Denon Porter from um, D12. Damn, I got to think. Yeah, so I'm saying. I'm yeah. thinking, yo. Yeah, but like he sing. People don't understand. He sung on a lot of people's songs. You just don't know he on there for like at least a lot of Detroit cats and like okay. Midwest cats. Okay. But it's right now, it's right now, it's Busy Bone. <laughs> yo. Until, no, for real. I know yo, there's somebody out there yelling. Fight me, bro. There's somebody yelling. <laughs> Look, until I can come up with something better, I, it ain't common, it ain't Twister. Um, I thought about, I thought about Twister. It ain't is, Twister. It can't, it ain't Nelly. Is it, is it, is it Yay? It might be Ye. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's on a lot of hooks too. Yo. But it's better if it's busy bone. <laughs> like true. just let's let's just take Kanye out of this because just because he's Kanye. I want to fight over who is it if it's not busy bone. I want I'd rather have that smoke. The Kanye thing, I, I mean I guess the real answer is Kanye. Yeah. But I like let's take Kanye out. It's, it's, busy, Ka- it's bone. busy bone next. It's got to be Busy Bone, bro. Damn. Ain't that about something? <laughs> In my mind, right? No, you know, so, that's brilliant. No, that's yeah. brilliant. In I'm, I'm trying to run through everybody, like, every city in my mind real fast. Yeah, got to do it, man. Nate Nate Dogg is un- Is it? Oh, Anthony undefeated. Hamilton. That's not hip-hop. But we had Nate Dogg. He was on all Nate, them. Um, Nate Dogg is hip-hop. 
Yeah, but Anthony Hamilton been on a gang of uh, hip hop hooks. Uh, yeah. But he's not. He's not uh, Midwest though. He's South. He's North Carolina. So throw yeah. him out. Yeah. So he, still, yeah. But he was the reason I thought about that because I thought about Nappy Roots with all them songs he on. Oh, uh, oh, chill. Yeah, that was Anthony Hamilton. Yeah, but I mean, but he's not from Louisville, so it don't it don't count. He's just on them two songs, but no. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, bro. let us know, y'all, man. Let us That's know. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, we'll be back with the uh, next joint soon. But you got some more. Let's, you, you got some more? Yeah, I don't yeah, know, man. Go. I could always keep going. I, I, let's I get one more. Let's two, get one more in. Two, okay, so episode four, though. Episode mm-hmm. four, because I don't even have four in my notes. Yep. Episode four. How did it start? Episode four. Starting them getting ready to go on tour, sitting yeah. outside the tour buses and talking. Oh, let's go to the, the reporter. The, the, the reporter, the, the journalist, dude. Who is the reporter, sir? I, low key. I think there was a mismatch of a lot of stuff. Okay. I don't want to mention the person I think that they were trying okay. to talk about. Okay. Because that person is a whole nother thing. We hopefully have that person oh, as a guest. Oh, yeah. Because I think they were trying to talk about journalism in general, but everybody's cool with everybody now, so they don't want to mention that other situation. I get it. I know exactly where you at with that. You and I'm still, if you got to know this yeah. hip hop history, know what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. even going to mention that. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, the four really just covered the tour, man. And that's yeah. when they realized that there was a bootleg market out there. Mm-hmm. And they brought Little Brother on the bus. Well, Power did. Mm-hmm. And, and he and, shook him down. He smart, but he was smart, though. Like, yeah. yo, your uncle got a truck? Yeah. Let's, let me build with you then. Yeah, exactly. Little Buddy didn't see that coming. No. He didn't know he was going to. He's, he's like, like, am I in the Wu-Tang Clan now? He's like, he's fuck like, no. No. That's exactly what I would have asked. God damn right I would have asked that. Yo, so. First thing I would have been like, hey, man, can I, do I get a, can I get a chain? Yo, something. Like, I'm putting. I'd have like, son. It's I know, not like you know you, what? I wouldn't even maybe even ask him. I just got right on my message board right when I got home. I'm a mirror Wu-Tang Check this out, y'all. I'm in the Wu now. Is what it is. I'm selling the T-shirt. And then if he came back and said, why you say that? I was like, that's how I'm getting these T-shirts off. And he'd be like. First of all, I'd have been like. I gave you my route. Yep. I gave you my I'm resources. I'm in the woo. I'm in the woo. I've contributed as much as you got. I'm at least in the woo Gambinos. I've mean, contributed as much as Master Killer at this point, son. Yes. At this point. So I'm in the woo Gambinos at the minimum. Yo, I'm in minimum. Sons of Man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a subsidiary. I'm yeah, rocking with. I mean, yeah. uh, what uh, what was the group that uh, what was it? The Wu Tang All Stars when uh, on Soul in the Hole. So oh yeah, that was Wu-Tang I mean that I mean, I mean it, me and Shaheem is equal at this point. Shaheem, you had the Killer Priest, a lot of Shaheem, dark Killer man. Priest, and a lot of Dark Man on that song. Boom. I'm in that group. I'm one of them dudes. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't rapping, but I'm in. The, I'm on the cover. I'm the power version of them. Yes. You know what I'm Yo. <laughs> Straight up. Yo. Yeah, man. Well, we got we got a couple more episodes to yeah, watch. Yeah, we gonna right? run through. We had to, this this was a longer episode because we had to power through. Yeah, some of this episodes. stuff to get y'all to uh you know get y'all locked in on everything that yeah, was happening. Yeah, man, right now. love y'all to death. You know that. Uh, yeah. Appreciate all the all the all the support and, and, yeah. and the views and the, and the comments and the Dude, yeah yeah and the energy in there, man. We appreciate y'all. We'll yeah. be back episode five. No question. Peace. Peace. Peace.